Thanks. Um, I'm really good, so. No, I am. I'm one of the best, so. Guys, uh, I have an uncle, and, uh, like, I'm not bragging or anything. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want you guys to be like, oh, great. Look at Mr. Big Shot up there going on about his great life. Well, my life sucks. Like, I go home to my wife I don't love, you know, and I have this job that I wished was in a rifle factory so I could blow my fucking brains out at any moment. No, guys, whoa. I just have an uncle. It just worked out for me, like. But my uncle was always changing his mind and my mom was like, he's just like the weather that one, isn't he? He's always changing. <laughs> and I'd be like this, I'd be like, Mom, what? Uh, I don't think he's exactly like the weather. Uh, I don't remember the wind touching my balls. <laughs> Oh, and then we applaud. <laughs> Some of you got upset at that. That's because you're crazy. None of this is real. Like, I'm making all of this up. It's just a little show I'm putting on. I can create anything at any moment. Like, watch, look. <sighs> <laughs> that was a hawk. <laughs> Guys, I don't, I don't care anymore right now. You know what? I'm going to do a joke that it's not even ready. It's not even finished. I'm just gonna, sometimes comics on stage, they'll just talk out a joke, and that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to talk it out, see what happens. Um, I don't care. Yeah, it's a joke about bees. Hey. Have you guys ever noticed bees? Right? Like when bees fly close to you and we freak out, we're like, get out of here! Get out of here, bee! Like, what's that all about? <laughs> the bee just chose an incorrect flight path, right? Like, <laughs> but people always say, Mark, well, why does the bee keep coming back at me? Because it wants to tell you. You say, hey. What was that all about? I just chose an incorrect flight path. <laughs> I got all caught up in your wind current. And now I'm late. <laughs> and he was late. Showed up to the hive. Yeah. Supervisor was there. He's like, 753, where you been? He's like, ah. Oh. I got caught up in a human's wind current again. 753, you've been using that excuse all week. What's this really about? Is it about Cheryl? No, it's not about fucking Cheryl. <laughs> what are we doing here? That's what it's about. 753, can you call me, Steve? Dave, we've known each other since high school. That's not the protocol, 753. What's this all about? Well, I'm tired of this. We fly out there, we land on stuff. It gets attached to us and we bring it back. What is this? 
What's the point, man? I can't have that kind of talk in the hive. I want you to take the rest of the day off. And he did. He took the rest of the day off and he wandered around for a while. He stopped into his local pub. <laughs> Crazy Russell was there, but he always is. He had a couple drinks, headed out into the late night, looked up at the moon. And he was like, there must be more to life than this. <laughs> this can't be my life. This can't be. There's so much more to do. This can't be. This can't be at all. This can't be. What about the dreams I see? If this is all there is, there ain't no more. Then I'll pull out my stinger, lay down on the floor. Cause I can't be no more. Oh. 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 I don't know. Like I said, like we talked this stuff out, so it needs a closer.